Hello everyone and welcome to the first 3D one-on-one -on -one tutorial video. Um, I'm going to be posting up a lot more videos so please like and subscribe and, uh, and you'll get updates on all the new tutorials that I put up and you can also email me or comment and, and uh, suggest new tutorials or things that you want to learn. So um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing a really quick and easy way how to fill objects with uh, with anything, you know, ice cubes or or marbles or anything like that. So um, this is just a quick little vase that I threw together, um, an editable poly, and uh, throw the subdivision on there, and you can see it's uh, just kind of a nice smooth um, vase. So I'm going to create a bunch of marbles that I'm going to be showing you how to put in here, and we're going to be using Mass Effects, um, and that's the program that took over reactor and there's a lot of people who don't like that reactor is gone now but um, the mass FX is is pretty powerful so you definitely need to learn how to use that if you haven't learned a little bit more into it so let's uh, just create a sphere and I'm going to go into my top view I just want to bring this in the opening here I want to try to get as many of these things out in the middle of this opening as I can without hitting uh, the opening because what we're going to be doing is basically dropping these into uh, into this vase so I think that's pretty good so I'm going to select all of these go into my front view let's bring them up now I'm going to select on this vase and we hit um, alt X which is going to put it into the see-through mode and I'm going to bring this all the way down and I'll just copy. It's going to take a lot more than you think to fill this thing up. So let's do 30 copies. I know it seems like a lot since it's way up there, but you'll see it's not really going to even fill it up that much. So I'm actually going to just make another copy up here, and I'm not even going to add that just so I have the, uh, the original one over there. But uh, basically what you want to do now is start up your Mass FX toolbar up on top here if you don't have it it doesn't usually get set up by default so if I right click up on the top anywhere in this uh, blank section you can select on mass FX toolbar and then I'll pull up a toolbar and you can just drop it up on top if you want or let it float um, I usually like to leave it docked up on top so um, then I'm gonna select on my vase and with this icon over here I'm gonna click and hold and then I'll bring up I can set this vase as selected um, as static rigid body, which means it's just going to stay there. It's not going to drop. There's no um, gravity or anything on it. So I'm just going to select that. And you'll see now it just adds as a manipulator, as a, um, a modifier on this object. Um, the other thing that you can see on this object is the, uh, the outline, and that's what Mass FX is going to see right now. So it's going to see a top on it. And it's also not going to see these little concaves in here. Um, and because it's it's a, um, a hollow object and it's open inside a container, you uh, you want to basically set up your object. You have your shape type. Right now it's convex. That means it's going to be the outermost portions of this object. Um, you want to set that up as a as an original. You could do concave, but sometimes it doesn't really work that much with this t this shape of an object. But if you're going to have just like a square or a cylinder or something like that you can usually use concave but for this I'm going to use the original it takes a little bit longer um, for the program to analyze it and and work with it but it definitely gets the best results so um, I'm also now going to select on the marbles and deselect that vase and I'm going to add on these I'm going to click and hold I'm going to set select it as a dynamic rigid body these are going to be moving objects, um, so I'll select on that. This you have to give a second because it's adding this to all the objects. Okay, and now you can see each one of these spheres have this little cage around it, and this is what Mass FX is going to see and use. Um, so if I deselect now, if I select on one of these spheres, you'll see it's up on the modifier list. This is just an instance of of uh, what's on every one of these spheres so you don't have to select them all in order to manipulate this so I'm gonna select on one of those and use Mass Effects rigid body and right now I have the mesh as the object 
um, because it's just a simple sphere, uh, sphere I don't really have to change it any um, what I do want to do although because it's going to be dropping really high um, you don't want to have something that's going to be bouncing around because it's all going to fall out and if this is really just for a still image of something that you want to have that's filled up with marbles you don't want to um, have them jumping all over the place you want it to just drop and it'll be the quickest simulation possible so if you go into your presets you can grab something like steel or concrete or something that's not really going to bounce around so I'll use uh, my preset as steel and my shape type is convex which is the out the outside of the sphere and we should pretty much be all ready and set to go so uh, you can just preview this to see how much it actually fills up and hit this play button just give it a second to calculate it and then it's gonna start going on its own so there it's all dropped in there and you can see it's not really as much as you would really think it was so if you wanted to I'm gonna let's undo that and I'll get rid of those actually and I'll just take a bunch of these go on my front view and now I'm just gonna copy them just make sure none of them are touching and I'm gonna make two copies of that I'm gonna make them way up there and now I'm gonna hit play again and just run the simulation just to see how it looks and how much it fills up it should take a little bit longer to do right now just because there's a lot more objects so uh, I'm gonna click on play again let it sit for a second and it should start going it's actually kinda of fun to watch <laughs> so here you can see around frame 70 or so is where they sit pretty well so you know that's really all you need in your final simulation so let's stop this we'll undo and what I want to do is open up my um, toolbar here that's in the Mass Effects up on top the uh, the settings panel so if you open this up what you want to do is go into the settings the simulation settings and you want to bake all so you want to bake all of these objects and that will create keyframes for each one of them so if I click on bake all it's going to run a simulation it takes a little bit to do um, depending on your computer and your video card and stuff but so each one of those objects is getting a keyframe now for each each frame is getting a keyframe as long as I have it up to 100 frames open right now on my screen um, it's gonna run the simulation up to 100 so if I had if my if I had my frames up at 200 it'll run 200 so now if you scroll through here you'll see it you'll see it fill up and now where it's nice and resting around I could take it from frame 90 if I select all of these objects if I just wanted this not for an animation I just wanted it for um, you know for the purpose of just having something like this uh, for a scene that I'm making I'll select all of my keyframes now and I'll delete those and now I have just a vase with some marbles in it and you can add your textures you can do whatever and you know you can get rid of your mass effects on there and these you're gonna either have to put it into editable poly mode or individually select them to get rid of your mass effects but uh, you don't really want to do that because that's gonna take forever so I'll just go to editable poly that way they don't have any modifiers on them and uh, let's select on one of those yep it's just editable poly and that's it okay if you have any questions or anything just email me or comment on it but definitely please like and subscribe to the page um, to my channel so that uh, you can get all the new tutorials that I'm putting up and definitely suggest new tutorials I'll be writing them down and getting to as many of them as I possibly can so um, that's it thanks a lot for watching